Scratch is like a school play, where you need a stage, actors, costume and a script. In Scratch, the actors are called sprites, and these can be dressed in a number of costumes. The stage is the area where the sprites will perform, and we can control what they do in scripts. Open Scratch to see this, what is known as the Graphical User Interface, or GUI, which can be pronounced GUI. Make sure you know where the stage is, and how to select a sprite. With the sprite selected, you can see the costumes it can wear by clicking on the Costumes tab here, and the scripts it can perform by clicking here, on the Scripts tab. It's empty at the moment. Let's make Scratch the Cat say Hello World. This is traditionally the first program in any course. Click on the cat sprite and then on the Scripts tab. Click on the Looks button in the Blocks palette. Click and hold the mouse button down on the Say Hello for 2 seconds block and drag it into the script area. Clicking, holding down the button, moving something across the screen and releasing is known as dragging and dropping. Double click quickly on this coloured block. The cat says hello, but how long? Notice the block is surrounded by a white line as the command is being carried out. Now carefully click on the word hello in the box. You can edit the contents when the words go blue. Do the same with the number and double click on the block again to see what happens on the stage. This block is just one command for the sprite. Notice that clicking the green flag does not do anything at this stage. Click on the control block. Drag and drop the when green flag clicked block towards the say block. Notice that a white bar appears when they get close. When this happens and you release the mouse button, the two blocks snap together. Now click the green flag block or the green flag here to run the program. Pause and play. Edit the text and timing on the block. Drag another block across and discover what happens with more blocks. Click on the sprite to select it. Then on the costumes tag to see the costumes for that sprite. Click copy to make a new copy of the sprite. If you click too often, delete the copy by pressing this cross here. Click edit to reveal the paint editor. Here you can modify the sprite. Pause and play to play with the paint editor. Press cancel to forget any changes or OK when finished. Any change is considered to be a new costume. Click into this name box and edit the name of the costume. Now select the scripts tag and drag in two copies of the switch costume. Modify the second block to select the alternative costume. Click on each block to see the effect on the stage. Finally, we're going to give the sprite a better stage. Click on the stage icon here. Now click on the backgrounds tab. Select edit to reveal the familiar paint editor. Paint a stage and press OK when complete. You can re-edit this stage later by pressing edit again. For the lazy, you can select a ready-made background by selecting stage, backgrounds, and then click the import button. Inspect and select your background and press OK to accept and see your background on the stage. This is a good time to save your project. You will be wise to do this every 10 minutes or so, then you can be sure you won't lose any of your hard work. When working on a big project, save in two places, then you have a backup. To save your project, click File, then Save. The Save Project window will open. By default it will save your work in the Scratch Projects folder. This is a sensible place to store your work. So type in a new file name at the bottom. Select a name, then click OK. One tip. Try to avoid using spaces in file names. 
replace spaces with underscores like this. Have a play and return for section 2 where we'll look at moving sprites.